Alright, so you guys may totally not know anything about this, but if you do, I'm going to Israel, and I'm leaving tomorrow actually, but for you guys, I've already been there for about a week. Um, but I'm leaving to go there for a school trip, but in order to keep the videos coming to you guys, I need to have a portable teleprompter and a portable microphone stand. So I decided to vlog this, I wasn't sure if I was going to. But in order to build these, I'm actually going to be vlogging this whole process. So you'll see that uh, in the next couple of minutes, um, and you'll see my thought process uh, behind going through and building a portable teleprompter and portable microphone stand. Uh, and so let's get started. <laughs> Before I continue building, um, I want to just catch you guys up on what I've already done. Um, so I have already made these two stands right here. Uh, in each one of these, we use PVC glue to join uh, one pipe to these little stands. And the advantage to these stands is that they can be easily taken apart. You just take out these pieces and they can easily be thrown into a suitcase, uh, which is something that I was excited about about them. Um, and then we're going to build these up uh, in order to be about the height of that tripod. I also have this piece of wood that I'm hoping to use as kind of a uh, plate for my tablet to go on. And my tablet's going to be the teleprompter. Uh, so I'm going to drill a hole up through the center of that and I'm going to use that uh, as kind of a plate to hold my teleprompter. So I made a cut line on here and this way my tablet will fit perfectly into the center here. Um, and then I'll make some 3D printed squares to hold this in. Uh, so now I gotta see what I'm gonna use to cut this line. Um, I might use a coping saw, it depends on if it's sharp enough or if it'll work. So you'll see that, I will build that today also. Alright, let's cut to a montage of building more parts. bought these bolts and I'm planning on using this to mount it to the rest of the stand here and I also bought these caps and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill through the cap uh, and put the bolt through and also drill through this uh, little dot right there um, and also drill through that and then hopefully glue it on so you'll see that right now The next part of this whole operation is that I gotta figure out where I'm gonna cut this bolt. So see right now, this is planning on working pretty well and it looks pretty good so far, but if I don't cut it in exactly the right spot, it's not gonna be good. So I gotta cut it a little bit above this, not too far, uh, and then I'm gonna have to put some either super glue or hot glue or some kind of glue in order to keep this on so that this can mount to the rest of the PVC parts that I've already got. Okay, mission partially accomplished. We cut that that thing off, and that one is the piece that we're gonna actually use. So let's try a test fit. I actually have to go get a haircut now, even though my hair doesn't look very short, um, but it's because I'm gonna be gone for seven weeks. But um, a little update about this guy. So this worked perfectly. I'm gonna have to glue this in. It's a little bit wobbly right now, um, but I'll glue that in as soon as I get back. So we will see you in about an hour. Okay guys, I am back at it now. Uh, for me, it was about a couple hours, but for you guys, it was only a second, so let's get working. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is glue that down so it stops wobbling. Okay, so I'm trying to make this stand so that if the teleprompter is right here, it'll fit right in front of where my camera will be. Um, so I gotta kind of figure out the size of this, how big this is gonna be, and then I've gotta make a couple cuts because this giant pipe won't fit into my suitcase. Um, so I'll cut it down. I also got these adapters that'll let me uh, connect two of the pipes together, so I will change the size of it. So now I'm figuring out exactly how long I can make each piece, uh, each piece of this. So I've got uh, this whole tube, and I've only got two connectors per tube. So I'm gonna have to divide this into thirds, and then cut those two sections, and then use those. Okay, so everything's cut, it's now time for a test fit. That looks like it'll work quite well, and I can just mount that on top. Awesome. Okay, now that this stand is almost done, all that's left is to make the little 3D printed parts uh, that will hold my tablet in. So let's get designing. 
Okay guys, so the designing process for this should not be too difficult at all. Uh, basically what I need to do is figure out how to get my tablet onto this plate, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some little squares for the edges. Um, basically they need to lift up a little bit so they don't impact this nut, or sorry, this bolt. Um, so in order to make sure that the my tablet doesn't hit that, we just need to raise it up a little bit. So you'll see what I'll do, I'll make four kind of square things, um, and we'll see how that works. So on to designing. Okay, so this is the final design. Uh, basically, it's very simple. All it needs to do is uh, raise the tablet up about three eighths of an inch to make sure that the nut doesn't get, uh, doesn't hit the tablet, and it just holds in my tablet from uh, this way vertically. So now let's get them printing onto the printer. I'll print four of them out, and then we'll glue them on. Okay, so now that these pieces are done printing, all I have to do is glue them on, and then the teleprompter will be complete. Alright guys, so here are the finished stands. They look great. Um, they'll be nice and easy to use while on my trip. Um, so these will hopefully help uh, to get better content to you guys as soon as we can. Um, and the nice thing about these is that when they're collapsed, they look like this. Alright, so that's it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on the web here or on YouTube here. We're also on Twitter here, here, and here. As always, I've been Zachary from Noon Improved. See you on the next review.